Hey everyone and welcome to today's fascinating exploration of the solar system. Today we'll be using a lot of PowerPoint tricks to make this experience as immersive as possible. I think it will be better to divide the tutorial into two parts. Let's get into it. We're going to enhance our project by incorporating some captivating 3D models. To do this, open your web browser and navigate to sketchfab.com. In the search bar, type Sun and press Enter. Choose a high-quality model that suits your project and click on the Download button, choose GLB format. Repeat the process until you have all the planets downloaded. Next, let's look for a stunning background from Pexels.com, search for Galaxy and download a picture you like. Open a blank presentation, add a text box and type the letters A, C, E, H, I, J, M, N, P, R, S, T, U, V, and Y. Use Britannic Bold as font, increase the size to 115, center to middle. Then duplicate to have seven columns, select all of them. Align, distribute horizontally then align to top, make the columns in the center of the slide. Add two squares and position them to reveal only one line of the letters. Select both of the squares, right click, fill, choose slide background fill, and remove the outline. Right-click the slide, Format Background, and insert the image downloaded from Pexels.com. Make the text white. Duplicate the slide, then delete everything from slide number 1 except one text box. Type the solar system, set the text size at 100. Insert the 3D model of the sun, position it outside the left edge of the slide. Duplicate the text, remove the fill, add a white solid fill with a width of 3.75. Duplicate the slide, move the sun to the right, and change the view. Go to the slide with the columns, insert the 3D model of Mercury, and rearrange the columns to spell Mercury. Insert the 3D model of Venus, decrease the size, and position it at the bottom left. Duplicate the slide, decrease the size of Mercury, position it at the bottom right. Increase Venus, position it at the center, and change the view. Move the columns to form Venus. Insert the Earth model at the bottom left and decrease the size. Repeat this process for the other planets. Let's 
Let's make some slight changes ensuring that each slide features five planets with the main planet in the center, two previous planets on the right, and two next planets on the left. Finally, apply the morph transition for each slide, except for slide number 3, where you'll apply the random bars transition. And there you have it, a mesmerizing expedition into the depths of our solar system. But hold on, this tutorial is just the part 1. Stay tuned for the second part where we dive even deeper into the cosmic wonders that await. Make sure to click that bell icon to receive notifications and be the first to explore the next captivating part. See you in the next video.